You know, you bought this pile of crap. I ought to make you haul it, too. Oh, relax. I thought this was a stinky locker, but Brandon thought it was worth 145 bucks. So now we gotta go through it. It's your locker, have fun. Okay. Tons of freaking clothes. So far, it's all clothes. What, are you all mad? I'm not mad at all, I just want you to get done. This is taking way too long. It's time for Papa Bear to dig in. That's Roxy Quicksilver right there. I don't like to see this girl. She might have been right up your alley. Probably came right out of the alley, you're right. Some scrubs. Scrubs are cool, that's some right there. So that more scrubs? Yeah. Yes, it is. You got your money back just on scrubs. Hang on, watch, watch the knife. Some kind of old boots or something? What are those? Check it out. Shelly Duvall from Popeye. Olive oil shoes. Are you me? Yeah, There's it. a they certificate of authenticity. Olive oil shoes from Popeye, Paramount 1980. Oh. Handmade brown suede lace-up boots. Yeah, I might think you might be onto something here because this certificate is all numbered and it's in a Shelly Duvall envelope and everything, Brando. Really? That's good. What do we pay for this unit? Buck fifty. I did good, huh? You did good. We're gonna have to get these Popeye shoes checked out, but I think my pops is gonna have to admit I got a good locker. We found some shoes that might be a prop from the movie Popeye. So we're gonna take them over to Dan at Premier Auction, and we're gonna see if these things are legit or not. So these are the uh, the boots you guys found? Yeah. Okay. We're hoping you can maybe give us a little bit more insight on these things. Yeah, definitely. I kind of think they're real. They're definitely a movie prop of some sort, movie memorabilia for sure. And you would know that just by looking? I, I know that just by looking. I mean, we deal with you know thousands of movie props and, and costumes, all ranges. We sell things up to like $100,000 plus. Wow. Um, the shoe definitely is elongated. It's handmade, definitely. But the only thing um, looking at this right now is the sole. You see how it's kind of worn? Uh -huh. yeah. It's very pe peculiar because movie props usually aren't this worn. So I'm not 100% I'm not certain. We really look at everything with a certificate of authenticity to know for certain whether an item is real or not. Otherwise, we just can't even sell it. So to give you a correct appraisal, would, I would really have to have a certificate oh, really? with what it. What if I came up with one? Would you be able to give I, me a correct I, appraisal? I can probably do that. Well, look what I happen to have right here. <laughs> Ironically, in the bottom of the box, we have this. Okay, Why don't you take, take a look and see if look. that's real? Okay. Because I know sometimes they do fake authenticity. They, they, do, they do, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to look and see. Um, you've got the seal. This comes from a very reputable dealer. You know that dealer? I know the dealer. These are olive oil shoes from Popeye. So this that, is the real deal? This is the real deal, you guys. This Which is the real deal. makes that the real deal. Absolutely. So these are real fake shoes. Now I just want to know how much they're worth. With this certificate, and these boots, you've got two that are in, really, considering this is a 1982 film, really a classic movie, I would venture to say that we probably can get between 1500 and 1800 You guys did good? Uh, yeah, let me tell you, <laughs> I paid 100 well, actually, I didn't even buy the locker. Brandon paid $145 for that $145 locker. $145 for well. the entire locker? Absolutely. Yeah, for the entire thing. Yeah, you guys, did, you guys did really, really good. Awesome. We just quadrupled our money, and that's exactly why we do this. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world! <laughs>